Hello and welcome to Voices for Fun. I'll bet you have no idea what grammar and voiceover have to do with each other, but today I'm going to tell you. Adjectives. Adjectives, adjectives, adjectives. They describe nouns. So, for instance, if you pick up a, a piece of copy and it says, old lady. Well, that's one thing. You're talking about a lady and she's old. But what else? Because there's a zillion ways to do an old lady. You could do her up in here. You could do her down here. So it begins to be important to refine that. Is she a rich person? Is she more expansive? Well, my dears, it is so good to see you. Is she evil? I don't think so, dearie. Same thing if we were talking about little boys. For instance, you all know that I do Izzy from Digimon. Once again, he was a young, bright computer genius, so right away I knew that that was a lot of exposition. But what else? Bright, precise, intelligent. That gave me the idea of a faster paced little boy just like this. How did I do that? I placed, the, the placement went forward into my mouth, right behind the teeth, so that I could bite off those words. Once again, make sure you look at your adjectives when you're reading copy. And for those of us who are not voiceover people, once again, who are you when you're speaking to your audience? Are you a teacher? And if you're a teacher, you're going to speak differently to middle, middle schoolers than you are to preschoolers, right? Preschooler might be a little more um, gentle, slower, which would bore the heck out of a middle schooler. Middle schooler, get to the point, try and at least engage them where they're at, whole different world. So remember, who you're speaking to comes out of the adjectives you are describing about yourself or them. Bye for now.